Hey, it's Mr. Brown. Good morning. Today we're going to get into our manufacturing unit. Now with our manufacturing unit, we're going to be playing around with the CNC machines. We're going to be playing around with the 3D printers and we're going to talk about additive and subtractive manufacturing, a couple different things like that. Um, but one thing you're going to have to be aware of with this unit is a lot more responsibility is going to be on you to keep track of your own work and to kind of set a schedule for yourself. So that's going to be our first step of this. Um, before we get too far, let me just kind of take a look over here at Schoology. So this is from last semester. So we can see we've got a manufacturing unit. In our manufacturing unit, we've got some uh, things like create a project timeline. So that's going to be our first assignment. That's what we're going to walk you through here today. And then there's going to, like I said, there's going to be a 3D printing and a CNC component to this. If I open this, I can see assignments. So my 3D printing assignments, I've got task A, task B, task C, task D, task E. So that's five right there. In my CNC folder, I've got Assignments task one two three four five. So that's A B C D E one two three four five plus the timeline is eleven assignments. So there are eleven assignments that go with this unit here. Because of that, everybody's going to be working at their own different pace. You're also going to have the option if you want to do three D printing first or CNC machine first. So everybody's going to be all over the place with this assignment. So it's going to be up to you to stay nice and neat and orderly. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a project timeline. So taking a look right here at an example, I'll just zoom in so you can kind of see what's going on. This is me, this is my period. Up here at the top I've got dates. All right. So you'll notice Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Notice, so this might be the blue days. So this might be the even classes. If you have this on the odd days, you'll make it so you have the odd days. But if I zoom out, so with the little zoom button right here, we can see, like I know you can't read the writing here because it's so small, but if I've got dates up here at the top, I've got my weekends marked, I've got this green right here, so these are my significant due dates. You can kind of see where I should be each step along the way. So let's say it's Friday, May 17th. Oh, I should be on this one right here, task C. So this is helpful to see if you're on task, if you're on time, if you're a little bit behind, or if you're a little bit ahead. Uh, the real world uses this. They call them Gantt charts. So a Gantt chart. What is a Gantt chart? A project management tool, so you're managing a project, that illustrates work completed over a period of time in relation to the time plan for the work. So essentially, you're scheduling stuff. Um, taking a look at some of the examples here, so we can see, I don't know what this is, but hey, week one, we should be doing this. And then week two, we should be doing these things right here. Week three, we should be down to these ones right here. So it just helps you see where you are, where you should be to keep you, know, keep you on track here. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to create our own version of a Gantt chart, our own project timeline in Google Sheets. Now there's plenty of tools that will do this for you, but the more you understand how to do something, the less you rely on tools. Because if you just rely on a tool and something goes wrong, you don't know how to fix it, then you know, you're know you in trouble there. So we're gonna create our own Gantt chart from scratch from Google Sheets. So the first step we're gonna do is we're gonna open a brand new sheet. So I'm gonna hit this little, uh, you know, open a new tab. Uh, you can hit the little dots up here and go down to Sheets, or up here you just type sheets.google.com, and I'm going to click on blank spreadsheet right here. So now we have a blank spreadsheet. We're ready to go to make our timeline. Let's get started on our timeline. 